Hey guys, Chauncey Phillips here, the brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday Shop video today. They're going to go out today, see if things come out today, see if things are on sale. It's always a tongue twister in the beginning, <laughs> saying that see what things came out just today, see what things are on sale. I do not know why. But today though, new release-wise though, there's actually not that many new things coming out. There's a handful of catalog titles, I believe, releasing. And I believe at Walmart there should be like some indie stuff coming out. But like I said, even with that, I don't think there's that much coming out. We'll see, though. We'll see, too, if there's any stuff that we didn't see in the last couple of Tuesdays that were not put out, like in Walmart or Target and stuff like that as well. Because like there's always like a select things that are like not on the shelves and stuff like that. So maybe we'll see some of that stuff today. But um, also, though, at the end of this video is going to be a whole bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews for the things I received to review and talk about for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for those at the end of this video as well. And also as well, you know, let me know what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks that are reviewed. If you guys have seen them, what you guys thought of them, and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up. But anyway, though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Hopefully something. Like I said, there's not going to be a lot, but we shall see. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find something. Into Target we go. But taking a look here, though, on the front, they ended up putting the, uh, the Batman here. You know, the Batman came out uh, last Tuesday, but they didn't change it out last Tuesday, but they changed it out today. But at least they updated it here in this location. In the actual section, though, we'll see if there's anything else over there. Uh, like I said, I, today, like, really, there's not a lot coming out, so I'm not really expecting much over there. So if anything, it'll probably be the stuff from last Tuesday that they didn't have out at this location. Because there was a handful of things that came out. So we'll see, though. Fingers crossed. Hopefully something is out over there. But like I said, I'm definitely not expecting much much though but we shall see though but taking a look over in the actual section i don't see anything else new out uh they have the spots for where the batman was but it's funny they switched them out to the act to the front but they don't have them out here this is one of the things that did come out today though the untouchables i believe that was today on 4k they don't have it out though but other than that though like these were all like the last couple weeks like pseudo 66 was last week uh x was last week or a week before so other than that though i don't see anything else new over here i did see some more of these like slip cover ones and the only one that i, that I did not recognize or remember seeing it was the goodfellows one other than that though i believe i've shown all these other ones i maybe didn't see the specific rim one but like i said other than that though i feel like this is the only one i do not remember seeing uh, the other ones though i'm pretty sure i've seen before of these different slip covers on them into walmart we go so we're gonna head back now i have not peeked or anything but like i said i'm really not expecting to see very much today i mean i think there might be like like i was saying a couple random things today but really really like i said not expecting much <laughs> so that's you know kind of like the what sort of what you would expect today just like empty like that but let's see if by chance there's anything else over here that they would have put out but like I'm seeing, you know, they're promoting uh, Yellowstone. So maybe that was one of the ones that came out today, but I don't think so. I think that was like, maybe there's a set of them today that they released, but I don't feel like that was, maybe, no, I guess this must've been today. I guess this was this one, uh, a, a repackage of all of them together. And they have like an exclusive one that has five decals in there for that one. It's $59.99 for the blue uh, DVD and um, $69.99 for the DVD of that one. But let's see if there's anything else mixed in here. But no, all the other ones seem to be from last week. And this has been just kind of like random, like, multi-pack stuff lately, I've, been no I've noticed. Let's check over here and see anything else different mixed in here. But no, I don't see anything new mixed in this spot. But, oh no, he here's one of the things today. There was one new thing. That's what I thought. Uh, row, uh, row 19 for $12.96, uh, the DVD of that one. I know there's a Blu-ray as well. I don't think they have the Blu-ray, but they might at um, uh, Best Buy for that one. But I do know that was one of the things today. There's some empty spots. Let's see, was any of these Uncharted? No, that wouldn't have been today. I'm trying to see if there's anything else randomly in here that I'm overlooking or anything like that. But all these other ones seem to be, let's see, were any of these ones for these animes? Um, no, these were the past couple weeks, I believe as well. Uh, and then like Horror High, that was last uh, last week. And I watched that one, that was a fun movie. It was actually made by like a junior high uh, class, put it together, whole uh, film class program, put it together. It was well done though, uh, but I did watch that one. But other than that, like I said, that, that was last Tuesday, but I don't, like I said, really today, I think the only things they have in this location new, because we will go to another one, was the Row 19 
and then the um, the Yellowstone. So I, yeah, so I guess season four, I feel like this already came out, but maybe it was either it came out today for the first time or it's been out or the first thing time coming out today is this collection, that, which it could be like that too. I'm not 100% sure. I never really followed this show, so I really don't know for sure on that one. But we will head though to another, uh, you know, um, Walmart and see if just, just in case there's anything else different in that one, because that one usually has a little bit more stuff, but we shall see though. Into the second Walmart we go. So we're gonna head over here and see if there's anything else uh, different at this location. But yeah, I'm seeing though the um, you know the Yellowstone one here uh, as well. But right here though in the front, I don't see anything else different. Like I said, this has just been pretty much the random like multi-pack you know movie collections and stuff over here. Let's see though anything else right here in this spot. But no, this is like this one either changed anything out here. Over here though, uh, but yeah, it seems to me like literally the only stuff today was row 19 uh, and this one as well, and then the um, the Yellowstone. Because other than that, I'm just trying to see if there's anything else mixed in here randomly that I haven't seen the past couple weeks or anything like that. But I'm not really seeing anything. Somebody's like bouncing some kind of ball all over the place. Let's see anything else. And it's always funny when you hear like the bouncing balls and you think, oh, it's going to be some kid and it's like a full grown adult doing it. You're like, what is this person doing? It's like so, some people are really peculiar, especially nowadays. <laughs> I think he's still doing it. But like I said, it's, I don't think it's a kid doing it. Let's see. Um, anything else over here? But no, it doesn't look like, like I said, it's a real small day for new releases, at least that are in stores and everything like that. Because Devil's Tale, that was a week or two back. Um, you know, Measure of Revenge, that was a week or two back. But like I was mentioning, this one was actually a really fun movie. Uh, one of the um, the kids that uh, was, you know, worked on the movie uh, watches the videos and stuff like that. So it was really cool. It was a junior class project that they made, a film uh, program uh, made the movie and stuff like that. So it was pretty cool to see it get released and to get out in Walmart and stuff like that. But I thought it was actually a pretty fun movie. Um, movie uh let's see though like i said i don't really see anything else new in here mixed in or anything like that as far as i can tell all this stuff is all the older stuff but this is one of those locations i always come to this one though because it's like has the biggest selection of any of the ones around this one i've never seen this slip cover for the goonies i think this is part of another line of slip covers but i've definitely never seen this particular one this is kind of like the old original artwork for the one so that's actually pretty cool but other than that, though, like I said, that's the only other thing different that I see today. I haven't seen anywhere else. Doesn't seem to be anything else different here today, as far as I can tell, though. Into Best Buy we go. Yeah, and every time I mention this, like when I walk back here, I see this, like that, that you know, picture of the woman there. And I always feel like it's like someone standing there, like staring at me in like a weird way. Usually when I'm filming over here, I'm like, uh oh, something's staring at me filming. <laughs> But, you know, today, though, like I said, it's really not a lot of stuff. We'll see, though, if there's anything else different here. They do have all these yellow stones. So I believe that, that I guess that's what it was, that season four did come out today. And then they have a collection here as well. So that one's $89.99 for all the seasons of the show. And I guess, is the show over? Or is this is this a complete season, a you know, series of the show? Or is it continuing on? I don't know if it's on any longer or not. Let's take a look, though, over here on the side, though, and see anything else. Oh, yeah, here's one. There was one other thing today. This is something I totally forgot came out today. The Boys uh, Seasons 1 and 2 collection here. And this one is, you know, an Amazon you know prime series so i'm glad to see you know some of the amazon prime stuff coming out because like a lot of the stuff they don't always you know if it's a streaming exclusive they don't usually put a physical disc out for everything i'm hoping you know we get like um you know um some of the others like uh you know the borat 2 and there's a couple other things that were amazon prime ones so hopefully some of those ones do get physical releases let's see though anything else over here oh yeah this is one of the ones that did come out today uh, there are a couple other things 4k wise uh candy man this one came out today on um, 4K. I, I'm, I'm 90% sure this was today. I don't think this was last Tuesday, but I know for certain this was today, and this is in the wrong spot. I was thinking if this was $12.99, I mean $13.99, I, I would be buying this, but it, I, for some reason, too, I feel like it's supposed to have a slip cover. but they have the um, Happy Death Day uh, new edition here, and is there anything new feature-wise on here? So it has a new commentary track. I really like this movie. I, I don't know if I would buy it again or not, but I really do like both of those films, the Happy Death Day movies. Candyman, though, I absolutely love that movie. And, that, and that's one of those movies, too, where like the, everything about this is perfect. The music, everything. It's just, it's just such a perfect film. This is one of the other ones that was today, though, The Untouchables uh, Steelbook, uh, 4K Steelbook. That one is $27.99 for that one. But other than, than um, those two here, let's see any other ones here. I'm noticing 
noticing that are different. Yeah, nothing else new here. That's the other one I was mentioning. I was wondering if we'll get a physical release. Because, see, Jackass 4.5 is a Netflix exclusive. So I'm really wondering if that's going to get an actual disc or not. But let's see. I think, for some reason, I think Life Force might have come out today as well. I don't know for certain, but I think so. And then I believe this was one of the other ones today. Uh, this one, Omar Epps movie. This one, The Devil You Know. This is one of the other ones that I believe was today. And this one is $14.99 for that one. But other than that one, though, that seems to be all the main new things today, though. So anyway though guys, that was all for my DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Like I always say, if you guys enjoy these shopping videos, also, you know, let me know in the comments below though, you know, what you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K, you know, if you guys ended up picking up anything new today. Uh, you know, let me know as well, you know, anything new that you guys have been watching on streaming, any new TV shows, any new movies, any of that kind of stuff, you know, as well. But anyway too, let me know as well, you know, what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4K that's, you know, 4Ks that I reviewed at the end of this video. But you know, I want to do something a little different today that people have been asking about before we go, before we get to the actual reviews we're gonna go to the drive-thru into the Burger King drive-thru we go we have returned the drive-thrus are back hi what can I answer you Oh, so can I just get um, one uh, double cheeseburger plain, please? Okay. And then um, one large fries. Okay. Uh, and one large onion ring. Okay. And then um, two sweet and sour sauces. Okay. And then um, one uh, barbecue sauce. And then that was everything. Okay. Thank you. That'll be in 1279. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thank you. The King of Burgers. Oh, guys, we're not done yet. Now we're going to head to the Arby's drive through Yes, the, the, the drive throughs are back and in, in a very big way with two drive throughs And now the next one we're going to is Arby's, but I like to call it Arbidarb. So next one is the Arby's drive through Hi, so just wanted to get the two for six, uh, two roast beef uh, classic sandwiches, please. Okay. And then I also wanted to get the um, the premium nuggets, the six piece, please. Okay. And then just a large order of the crinkle cut fries. Okay. And then just uh, honey mustard sauce. Okay. And then um, that was everything. All right. We'll have to throw up at the window. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Ooh, what will the total be? And the first one I got here is from Arrow Video. And this is one when I heard this one was coming to Blu-ray. I was so excited. Because if you guys know me, I absolutely love like 1970s TV films. One of my favorite 1970s TV films was the film Bad Ronald, which finally came out to Blu-ray a couple years back. But that was one of those ones I kept on talking about and hoping would come to Blu-ray. Another one that I've been waiting for forever is a movie, like a 1970s one TV film called Crawl Space. Now, not the Klaus Kinski one. This was a different one about this guy that was kind of squatting in this old couple's house in the basement. He was kind of in the actual crawl space like living there it was a great movie really really weird film you never see it there was like a really rare out of print dvd of that one so that's one i keep on hoping now will come to blu-ray so now fingers crossed hopefully that one but this is another 70s TV film, and this one had a great cast in here. It has Shelley Winters in the movie. It had Mer Morgan Fairchild. And it's a film here called The Initiation of Sarah. And this is a film kind of, you know, very, very similar to, like, Carrie. It's basically, though, about this girl who comes to this college and goes to this, uh, you know, sorority. And she ends up having, like, these telepathic, you know, powers. And basically, like, basically what ends up happening with those. And it's a, a really, really fun movie. This is one of those ones that, you know, came out years, out, uh, years and years ago on DVD. It was only ever on DVD, and I one of, those, one of those things too. I never knew if it would ever be able to actually have like a really good quality Blu-ray because you never know. Sometimes with TV movies, like the original film negative can get lost if it was like, edited and then you know on film, but then transferred to tape for TV. Because a lot of times, if you know stuff was aired on TV, they would just play it in you know in standard definition, really low quality. It you know the and then the film version sometimes would get lost. So luckily enough, a lot of these TV movies, the prints, the actual prints are still in existence because you know like I said, it, there's it can be a rarity for a tv film's original negative print to still exist so really glad a lot of the ones that i've wanted are still in existence 
This one has on here, though, a brand new 2K restoration on here from the original 4K scan or the original 35 millimeter camera negative on here. And this one has on here, though, um, let's see, what's some of the other stuff on here? Brand new commentary track on here with TV expert uh, Amanda Ray's Welcome to Hell Week, A Pledge's Guide to Initiation of Sarah, brand new appreciation of the film on here. It has on here, um, Initiation of Sarah, a brand new interview with film critic Samantha Mark Lauren talking about the witchcraft and empowerment of TV movies and kinetic, uh, you know, films like Carrie. Uh, ha also has initiation of um, Tom, a brand new interview on here with Tom Holland about his f um, first, um, you know, film writing uh, credit as well as an image gallery on this one. And here's a look though inside at this one. And here's the, um, you know, the book in here, which has some stuff about the production, stills, all that kind of stuff, uh, you know, as well here. Like I said, this is a really, really fun movie. And if you guys have never seen this one, definitely rec would recommend you guys check this one out. The other one here is one, um, Anthony Perkins one, which I always liked this one as well. And I, I absolutely was, was always been a huge fan of Anthony Perkins. Perkins, especially the stuff that he did in the 80s, like when he went and did like so many of those horror films. It's basically, you know, he was known for Psycho. And then he had, like, I don't really know what kind of movies he was doing after Psycho until he cut... Like, I feel like a lot of people don't know. I, I I know he was doing stuff. But, like, his, like, when you think back to his career, you always think of, like, Psycho. Then you think of when he came back and the, did Psycho too. But there's, like, a whole gap. I need to, like, look at some of his other movies during that period of time. But there's a lot of stuff that he did, like, um... Oh, I don't know if he did the, um... The one Ken Russell movie, Crimes of Passion, was before Psycho 2. I think that was actually after. But this is one here. It's basically like the Dr. Jekyll and Mrs. H Mr. Hyde type of story with him. There's a scientist that, you know, basically turns into the crazy version, you know, killing people in the streets. It's a really, really fun movie. This one here is called Edge of, Edge of Sanity. And this one has on here a brand new 2K restoration for the 4K scan for the original camera negative on here from Arrow Video. It has on here a brand new interview on here with Stephen Thrower, author of Nightmare USA. Has has a brand new interview on here with Dr. Claire Smith, author of Jack the Ripper in Film and Culture. Has an interview on here with the director. Uh, it has on here one of the actors talking about the film. Image Gallery as well on here. There's also a booklet in here. Some stills from the film, stuff about the production, and that kind of stuff as well. Another one, like I said, if you guys have never seen this one, definitely worth checking out. But like I said, I always am a, a huge fan of Anthony Perkins, like especially the 80s movies that he did. Uh, the next one here, this is from Lion's Gate. And this is um, the TV series that airs on the History Channel, which um, you know Morgan Freeman is the host of, called Great Escapes. And this is basically all about like kind of escaping from, you know, kind of from prisons and all kind of like situations where they were insane situations of getting away from it and kind of like the story of the escape and that kind of stuff and they show like kind of reenactments and kind of showing how it was done and I, if you guys are fans of like um well, escape from alcatraz and like stuff like that this is basically like the real stories to those type of uh, you know uh escapes and stuff like that on here and this is a uh, two disc set here uh for the show here like i said just want to guys know this was available if you guys are a fan of the show uh, the next ones here these are from uh, paramount and these are some really cool uh, brand new steelbook releases this one here is uh the brand this is the limited edition version of includes the 4k and then the digital code so keep in mind though a lot of times now when it comes to 4ks they only include the 4k version of the movie they don't always include the blu-ray anymore so just keep in mind though this one only includes the 4k not a blu-ray copy and then a digital copy but this is um the film raiders of, raiders of the lost ark here this is the 4k edition like i was saying really really cool steelbook edition of the film and i don't believe as far as i know that this is an exclusive steelbook to any specific store i, I don't like i said i don't know i do not believe so here but this one has I'll show you guys though, like look inside here uh, for this one. Here's a look though at the the discs. It does have a um, a digital code as well, like I was mentioning. But there's also inside of here as well a uh, mini movie uh, poster as well, which is like the original uh, poster artwork for the film in here. And then here's a look though at the disc. I'll take the disc out so you can see the artwork behind it as well. Every time I think of this scene too, I think of um. You know, it's not there anymore, but the great movie ride. And I, it's kind of, like, sad that they took that movie, that ride out and put that strange, like, Mickey thing that I don't think anyone cares about, honestly. It's like they always do that. They put, like, certain, like, characters that no one really cares about and replace, like, other things. And I feel like all they need to do is update the ride and put new movies in it. But this is uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, like I said, the, the 4K uh, Steelbook Edition here. Now, this is another Steelbook Edition here of the film uh, Grease 2, which is one that I, I think was, was not available separately before, as far as I know. I think it was available 
in like the um the multi-pack set that had like the blu-ray of the original film or the 4k of the original film and then the live or grease live i believe i think so i decided like i said i don't think that there was actually a standalone version of you know uh this one as far as i know but here's a look though inside here you know at the steelbook for this one and here's a look at the disc artwork for this one here as well like i said just want to guys know that this one's available if you guys were a fan of a uh, grease too and that, that there is a steelbook uh available for the film the next one here is from paramount as well this is a new film and this is the 4k edition that includes the 4k and the digital copy of the film the, the contractor which stars chris pine this has a great cast it has chris pine is in here it has uh ben foster uh foster here you know who i was thinking from six feet under but he's in like hell or high water he's in tons of stuff uh and then it also has um you know um Kiefer sutherland is in the movie as well and i was always a fan of Kiefer sutherland as well and this is basically though about um chris pine's character he, he, he basically though you know he ends up getting discharged for the army and you kind of find out for what it ended up happening and he ends up like kind of figuring out what he's going to do with himself and he gets kind of part of this you know kind of like um it's like a, like a, a military kind of like um kind of special forces kind of underground kind of group like a, like a special forces kind of secretive group and basically though he gets involved in this group and it's one of those kind of things where things just get worse and worse as it goes along and it's like things get worse than they were when they before they started when he didn't have a job because like getting involved with this group kind of has all these other kinds of ha problems happen it's a really really well done uh, movie I did, I did not know about too much about this one going into it though but like i said this includes the 4k and the digital code for the film it's a movie here called the contract contractor the next one here these ones are all from moviezing.com and i have a link below where you guys can order these ones for the best price and this one is also from universal and this is the complete first season here of the show la brea and this one um and th this is an interesting series i always like these kind of stuff about like kind of going to like primeval worlds worlds and stuff like that like i loved like as a kid i never really saw the original version but as a kid i loved land of the lost so i love stuff like that when you go to like i said to primeval worlds and like back in time and all this type of stuff this is basically like this big kind of pit opens up in the ground like this gigantic sinkhole and the people that fall into the sinkhole end up kind of in like the you know the back in time and basically you know kind of like this primeval land and like kind of i don't want to ruin everything that happens but they kind of have to survive together and it kind of has like the ups and downs of all that and all the kind of problems and stuff like that on here though this has uh feature wise inside nbc's la brea this has la brea survivor of the unexpected 2021 comic-con panel with the cast and crew on here as well i always like to when the comic-con panels are like included on blu-rays and stuff i feel like it's it's kind of a cool way to kind of like preserve that stuff and kind of continue it on as a features. I don't know. I always think that's kind of cool. Uh, and, I, and I always think too, it's kind of funny to think that a lot of those early special features on like DVDs and Blu-rays that were like the, some of the ones that were like 2000 and or like early Blu-rays at least the 2008, 2009, 2010. I was at a lot of those Comic-Con panels for stuff like Saw 3 and so many of these things. And I think I wonder if I, because I never really looked at these features for some of these ones. I always wonder, like, was I ever in the background of any of these ones sitting there in the group watching these panels? Because they, I was, I know some of those ones were included on some of those discs. But the other one here is this is from a company called Media. Media W Inc. I think I don't know the I don't know the main company on this one, but it's a movie here called World. Um, is it World Ends at Camp Z? And this is a fun movie. This is basically though kind of like a summer camp, kind of like campgrounds kind of thing. And basically though, the people like what like, it kind of is it going to get sold off? And then like the new basically the the person that's like going to buy it has like these intentions for the land because of like kind of the history of the land that had happened there. And something ends up happening that involves like the basically like zombies kind of end up happening and it kind of, it's one of those kind of things that it has sort of a feel of like those summer camp sort of like meatballs type movies a little bit mixed with like uh, it's like sort of like a sleepaway camp feel it has like kind of a combination it's hard to explain kind of combination movie it was a very fun film though here like i said this one here is called world ends at camp z here and the next one I got here is from Kino Larber, and this is from the Kino Studio Classics line. And this is a movie here called Savage Sisters. And this is an early film which stars the late Sid Haig. Uh, Sid Haig, you know, when people think of Sid Haig, they always think of like House of a Thousand Corpses, but he was in so many great movies and so many cult classic films in the 60s and 70s, like Spider Baby was one of the ones that he was in. And then tons of these um, women's in prisons films, and he was in, I think, 
a lot of the um, black exploitation films he was in. So lots and lots of different ones he was in throughout the years. And this is one of the ones uh, he was in called Savage Sisters. And this is basically, though, one of the women in prison type films. And this is they did a lot of ones where they were like either in prison ones or prison ones that were set on islands in islands. And basically it was more, much more difficult to escape because at this time, too, they were doing like I think Papillon, Papillon came a little later, but it kind of became this whole trend of uh, it kind of started with it was basically prison films. Then it was like uh, Nazi kind of prison films that they were doing camp films. Uh, and, and then they kind of moved on. They kind of stopped doing the prison films for a little while. And then in the 80s, they came back again with the Linda Blair movie. And then they kind of became like a, a thing again with these kind of movies. And this is basically about a people trying to escape from this prison that's on an island. And basically the plan is they also want to try and steal this money and becomes this whole big thing. It's a very, very fun movie. I saw this one for the first time years and years ago. But this one has on here a commentary track on here by horrorfix.com as well as a, the a theatrical trailer on this one. But great transfer as well in the film. The other one here from Kino Studio Classics Line uh, is uh, the, a film here called Stunt Rock. And this is from the director um, Brian T uh, Trenchard Smith. Brian Trenchard Smith did a movie that I, that I absolutely love. It's one of those movies that I've watched so many times throughout the years. And it's such an interesting, very underrated movie. That's a movie called Dead End Drive and about basically these people that like kind of like all the bad kids and stuff like that they get like locked in the drive and are not allowed to leave and it's like it's I don't know it's like it's a weird concept but I love the movie it just has this really weird vibe it's sort of like Mad Max in a drive-in and this is um an early film that he did before that one because this was a number of years before uh, but he also directed Brian Chenter Smith um Leprechaun was it Leprechaun three and four uh the one in vegas though i know for sure the, the one I, I absolutely love that one the one with caroline williams was in but he directed that one a bunch of stuff but he's a very talented filmmaker he's one of those people like when it comes to like you know directors i'd love to work with like brian tensor smith is always one of those people i'd absolutely love to work with but this one is basically though about this kind of like, kind of t dealing with like at this time too they did a lot of movies dealing with stunts and this is kind of about this guy who's a stunt guy he does these crazy stunts and he starts doing stunts for these band and it kind of gets out of hand it's a really interesting movie it's hard to explain but a fun movie it has on here though a, a, a commentary track on here by the director as well as some of the actors on the film it has not quite hollywood interview with brian tenchard smith and not, not quite hollywood was an, a documentary that they did on all the different australian like kind of like exploitation horror films and stuff like that that they did uh has also an interview on here with the lead actor and stuntman on the film the ultimate rush on here a conversation with brian tenchard smith a 2009 interview on here as well as a theatrical trailer on this one here here's a look though underneath of the slip cover as well this is the kind of more known uh artwork for this one let's see too for savage sisters i can't remember did that have a different art no that that has the same artwork though on that one the other one here that's from kino larber and this is from um scorpion releasing uh and this is one uh and this is a one of the argento movies that you don't hear about as much this was a little bit of a later one for him this was um uh, no, 1998. His new film, though, I cannot wait to see. Uh, that it looks amazing. I, I don't know if it's. I don't. I think it's in um, Italian. I don't think it's in, in, in English at all. I, I don't believe unless they shot it twice. Because sometimes they would shoot a movie. It, very rarely do they do that, but sometimes. Uh, like for international movies, they shoot the movie two times. Like sometimes movies in Mexico, they shoot it in, in you know Spanish and English. So maybe they shot the movie in English as well. I I I, I don't know because I mean it stars you know um, Aja Argento who's, who's you know speaks English all the time in movies and stuff. So maybe. Uh, but when it comes to our you know Ozzy people like I'd love to work with though I want to put this in the universe Ozzy Argento is like one of my number one people I want to get into one of the next movies but this movie here is uh, the Phantom of the Opera the, uh, the Argento movie uh, I always like this one and they've made a lot of different stories on Phantom of the Opera they made one with um you know Robert England that they did so there's been a number of different ones throughout the years and they're all kind of different renditions of how it's like with a mask or without a mask and like how messed up the character is and it's basically though about putting on the show and stuff and that the main actress and stuff like that is getting sort of stalked and it, it, it by someone in the rafters and everything it's a, it's a fun story though i always love the story but this one has on here a comedy track on here for film historians troy harworth and nathaniel thompson uh interview on here with dario argento uh interview on here with the set designer and an interview on here with the producer of the film here uh the next ones here these ones are all from gravita's uh, ventures and this is a fun movie here it's an interesting idea this this stars um you know um bria grant and it's a movie here called madelines and it's basically though about like kind of like um 
you know, the scientist who's kind of trying to do stuff, you know, involving like time travel and stuff like that. And she ends up inventing this, you know, basically kind of thinking that she figures it out, but she, something gets all messed up and there ends up being all these different cloned versions of herself. And so basically becomes this time loop and she has to kill all these different versions of herself. So it's basically her having to try and figure out how she's going to kill these versions of herself because if she doesn't kill them, things are going to be very, they basically the whole world will basically fall apart if she doesn't kill these, these other versions of herself. And it becomes like thousands of them. They just are nonstop. It's sort of like making you think of like, um, you know, Willy Wonka with all the Oompa Loompas and like, you know, Tim Burton's one where there's like so many of them like digitally cloned and stuff like that. Just thinking of like nonstop, like, you know, clones of the same person. But this is a very, very fun movie. The other one here is the one from Gravitas Adventures. It's called The um, the Institute. And this is basically though, uh, like one of those kind of weird movies dealing with fertility. And I always like those kind of, kind of odd Cronenberg-esque kind of medical type movies when they deal with sort of weird go-ons and stuff. And this is basically about this couple that go to stay at this weird, like, secluded um, kind of facility in the middle of nowhere for this uh, fertility treatment. But it's one of those kind of things where it just, like, takes on all these weird things when they get there. And the experiments are strange. The doctor... It's one of those things, too, where the doctor at first sort of seems normal. And it get, as it goes along, he just starts... You kind of, like, realize how strange he is and how weird what's going on there is in the, in the movie. Uh, the next one here, this is from Gravitas Ventures as well. This is one called Vampirus. I think the vamp vampire vamp vampire vamp I I def it's hard to say vamp but it's supposed to be like vampire and, and virus. So it's like vamp I guess vamp virus 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 something like that. Definitely hard to say. But this is basically though kind of dealing with what's going on in the world you know with the you know what you, you can't say the name the word in the videos you have problems with well, you know, with, um, ads. So, you know, what's going on in the world, basically. Uh, I'm not a fan of movies dealing with that. I don't like, I don't like putting masks in the movies. And I, I, none of the movies I've done whatsoever will ever have that just because I don't want to date the movies and I don't want to, no one's going to want to look 20 years from now and look back and remember any of this business, honestly. So like, I'm like, I leave it out. I, and all the movies I do, I leave it out. I'm careful to leave it out. I just don't, I don't want to put anything about it. But basically though, because of what's going on in the world though, uh, it's basically though, uh, if you're a vampire, you have to still go out. So it's basically though, the whole thing. And then she kind of like links up with someone that's not. And then they kind of join together and kind of try and, 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 and hunt for the prey and stuff. So it's an interesting, very different take on the whole thing. The other one here, uh, this is from Garrett's Adventures as well, is called Flatwoods. And this is basically, though, it's a, this is a documentary kind of like filmmaker, you know, kind of th discovers this kind of like aliens. It basically discovers like real footage and stuff like that of it. But then at the same time, it's kind of like, uh, trying to get to the bottom of what she discovered and then like trying to sh show the footage of people and then people who are kind of like breaking it down and like thinking that she's lying. And it's, it's a very interesting thing because also too, once you kind of set, send this footage to certain people and people start looking at it, then the people that, or, you know, maybe the aliens start coming after you. So it becomes this whole big thing. It's a very interesting, different kind of take on these kind of like, um, you know, um, conspiracy theories kind of things going on and everything. Uh, the other one, uh, ones here are both from Mondo Macabro. And these are ones that I just want you guys to know were available. It's two different ones here. One is Hotel Fear. And this one has a brand new 2K restoration on here from the original camera negative. Has a brand new interview on here with the director, as well as uh, one of the actors in the film. It has an archival interview on here. Uh, audio commentary track on here. Um, also has alternate scenes as trailers for other um, Mondo Macabro releases. The other one here is one called, uh, you know, a, a Strength... Strangler versus Strangler. And this is one um, that has um, brand new 2K restoration on here for original camera negative, a new interview on here with the, with the uh, director, commentary track on here, as well as a rare English language version of the film as well. And it also has Mondo Macabro pre previews. And does this one have English as well? But this one has for the, um, the language versions, this has uh, English and Italian on this one here. And yeah, English and Italian and English sub and um, English subtitles. So yeah, so Spanish and Italian language on this one. This one has an English language track as well. And the last one here to let you guys know that was available. This one here is from 88 Films. And this is one here called Hero. And this is, like I said, just want you guys to know that this one was available. And this one has on here, uh, feature-wise, it has a double-sided fold-out poster. It has... Um, uh, let's see, commentary track on here it, with Asian Cinema Expert, has Hong Kong trailer, English trailer, uh, alternate shots from the Taiwanese version, uh, reversible sleeve on here, 
Uh, it has on here, though, uh, English language version on here, Cantonese language version. Here's a look, though, inside. And I'll show you guys, though, the um, poster for this one. But here's a look, though, at the double-sided uh, poster here for the film. So this is the brand-new artwork here, and then the original poster artwork. I believe, I believe this is the original one for the film here as well. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. And like I always say, if you guys enjoyed these videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.